What's pop? We gonna get into some deep shit real quick, real fast. Okay, it may not be fast and it may not be quick. But we gonna try to get through it as fast as possible. Okay, so what we gonna talk about today, we gonna talk about time and what is time. We're gonna talk about dimensions. We're gonna talk about space. We're gonna talk about uh, spirit, soul, uh, patterns, and you and a whole lot of other things that fall in this umbrella. Now this may be a two part video. I'm not sure. More than likely it will be. So let's get started. Let's talk about time. What is time? Well, most of us think that time is something that is very linear, meaning that time kind of starts as past, present, future. You know what I'm saying? Like in a line, so you're young, you who you are now, and you're gonna be old in the future. Time, right? But time is not necessarily made like that. Time is not necessarily a straight line. So forgive my drawing, I can't draw. So, but we're gonna, we gonna move through it. Time. As a line, okay? So time is nothing but a measurement of distance, really. Um, it's a measurement of space or distance. For example, it'll take me five minutes to walk to the store. It's me getting from one point to another point, time. Or it could take me one minute to drive to the store, time. So therefore, time is also a perception or a perceived thing. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get into time and, and, and space right now so um, it will take me five seconds to go touch that wall time but it'll take me a millisecond to look at it time I still touched it with my sight time it's all relative all right so time moves in a line like this or that's our perception of what time is that it moves like this but we all know that scientists know that there's dimensions uh, for example, uh, one, two, three, this is the third dimension. This is a third dimensional object. We're third dimensional objects. Height, width, and length. This is the third dimension. Now what time does is, time moves an object in the third dimension to another point. So from here to here, time measures this point. And from here to here, time measures the points of three dimensional things like me, you, the planets, the solar system, whatever, time. Okay, so scientists know that, that there's dimensions. They also know that the fourth dimension is called space time or time space. Space time, time space, same shit, right? So pretty much space meaning like distance me running to the store the space between me and the store the distance the space same thing so with that being said think about when you look into um the sky at night right so you're not looking into a, a bowl full of black jelly called space no in reality what you're looking at you're looking at time whether you're looking forward into time or backwards into time that's up to you and we'll get into that a little bit later but let's kind of just stick with this okay so this axis we'll call this the x axis right and we'll call x time we've seen this in school right if they would have told us this shit in school we probably would have paid attention i know i would have anyways so this is time right on this axis and you have points here there now these points could be anything it could be five years ten years fifteen years five years a hundred years a thousand years it doesn't matter as long as you're looking at it in the linear fashion so let's take this axis this axis and we've all seen this shit in school we've seen this shit right we'll call this axis the y axis but on this axis we will say this is dimensions, right? I'm going to explain how dimensions work with time. 
Okay, so we kind of have a good idea, or a roughly a good idea, of what we think time is, right? Because most people think it's just linear. You're born, you live, you die, right? What people fail to realize is your, your soul never dies. Your body does, but your soul never dies because it's part of an infinite thing that we call source. Creation, creator, God. Same thing in this, in this sense. So we're living, say we're living, we're living our lives, we live, 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 we, live. we die. Or our body perish, right? What happens is this is a cycle that moves like this. Like this. Okay? So it, it's a cycle that goes into a spiral. And the reason why that this cycle goes into a spiral is because that everything in nature that exists has a certain spiral sequence to it. Like um, the, Fibonacci, the Fibonacci sequence or Fibonacci um, pattern. And what the Fibonacci pattern is, it's a mathematically uh, calculated spiral that you find in nature on every level. Every level has the Fibonacci sequence to it. Your fingers have Fibonacci sequences to it. Your arm, your eye, ratios from your eye to your nose and from your nose to your ear and all that has a Fibonacci sequence to it. You find this, this um, pattern also in nature. Seashells, snail shells, sunflowers, um, roses, tornadoes, the solar system, and so on and so forth. Back to time and dimensions. So this spiral for the most part continues to go up. Now it could go down, but going down is more saying it's going inside, not going out, but going inside of you. So the dimension, if this is the dimensions becoming greater, this is the dimensions becoming less. Now these dimensions becoming less are like the dimensions that are inside of you, your spirals that are inside of you. Um, molecules, your DNA. Your DNA is a perfect example of of another type of spiral. And forgive my um my drawing. It fucking sucks, but it's the same thing. Okay? But we'll get to that later. Now, if these are dimensions going up, right? Now we're on the third dimension. Now remember there's there's sub dimensions inside of other dimensions for example if this is the third dimension here on this plane of time this is the third dimension there's 3.1 3.2 3.3 3.4 3.5 so on and so forth as your soul incarnates you can still be on the third dimension as it incarnates right you can still be on the third dimension but depending on your experience of your life that you live on this plane of time determines how far up you go into this spiral. This spiral is the spiral that connects us to source energy. Okay? This spiral could obviously at some point connects us to source. So as you live your life and you experience certain things, you will go up into dimensions. That's why every car, every carnation that you have, it's supposed to teach your soul a lesson. There's lessons that you're supposed to learn. Some people don't learn their lessons and they continue to incarnate on this dimension. This is what karma is about. This is what um, deja vu is about as well because there were there will be things that you can experience as you spiral up right that you remember that you've already done or 
uh, things that you've taken a liking to. Like, the reason why you like broccoli, the reason why you hate broccoli is because you liked broccoli in another life or something like that. It kind of works in reverse. Hard concept to grasp, but that's kind of how, how, how it happens. There's my phone. With Rick Ross on that bitch. Ugh. 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 Now. Um. <laughs> that's funny, huh? A nigga with a grill with Rick Ross on his ringtone is breaking down fucking time and dimensions. Ain't that about a bitch? See? With 2012 and shit do? Wow. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh, I'm playing. So. Anyways. So, um, as you carnate, you have experience and that determines how much you learn or how old your soul is determines how far you go up. But this is also the reason why, you know, things happen to people that we don't understand. Like, why do babies die? You know what I'm saying? Or why do children get shot? You know what I mean? Like, damn, you know, he didn't do anything. He, he, he was a good person because his soul is probably hella old. And he's incarnated so many times to where his birth or her birth, he didn't have to do much. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever his life purpose was, was already met. And we couldn't understand that. But this is what happens and that's why. Um, also, also, I'm going to, I'm digressing a little bit. I kind of jump all over the place. Also, um, if we want to take this in a biblical sense to understand this a little bit better. In the Bible, in the beginning, that has all these entities or these demigods um, that were here on the earth at some point. And in the Bible, it says such and such lived 700.